Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and uh, welcome to this database lessons video series. And let's continue to look at system global area database buffer cache. So we saw that when data gets read into the database buffer cache, the blocks where the the contents went into gets stored here in the LRU list. Right? It starts somewhere from the middle and then depending upon the frequency of access the blocks move to cold end or hot end. Okay. So now a scenario. What if the a process does a full table scan of a huge table right so that that table occupies so many blocks here so that it just occupies almost the entire LRU list or occupies a major chunk of LRU list. So what will happen in that situation? So in that situation any other data which could be still accessed frequently by other programs, they would have to move out of LRE list, right? And that could cause a performance issue because just because a process does a full table scan, which is basically reading the entire table, and for that contents to occupy, you know, it has to push out other contents which could be still used frequently, right? So that's a performance issue, okay? So Oracle addresses that by changing its behavior when it comes to a full table scan, meaning that when a full table scan occurs, Oracle doesn't put the uh, the data reference in a lorry list. Okay, that's its default behavior. Okay, so it maintains somewhere else, but not here. Okay, but that can be changed. But uh, you got to be very careful in changing that because that could cause some severe performance implications. Okay, so that's the way Oracle treats. When it comes to full table scan, those entries, they don't go into a lottery list. Thank you.